Hi guys! This is Desiree of the Succulent Therapy. We are back again with another video. Today, we are going to talk about this beautiful plant right here. This is a Peperomia graviolens, commonly known as the Ruby Glow. And uh, this plant is native from the southern Ecuador, but it is now available worldwide. Uh, it is really, really attractive and priced due to its V-shape and windowed leaves. Uh, it is also attached from this red or bright red stem, as you can see right here. Uh, the leaves, as I said a while ago, is transparent on the top, just like the lithops. And uh, the underneath leaves, as you can see right here, is red. Okay, so these plants do flower, but it is not really noticeable, uh, just like the other succulents. Uh, the flowers are tiny and they grow on this um, long racement as you can see right here. Um, it is mostly colored white or yellow. Okay, so today we're going to talk about its soil, uh, its light, watering, temperature, growth, and also will include the propagation. So let's head on with the soil first. Um, Peperomia graviolens grow really well on fast draining soil. For example, we have our pumice mixed with loam soil. They can be good with that. But because I have this plant for a long period of time now, I have observed that they can be better and they can be happier when they are planted on a uh, rich soil. For example, we have the mixture of coco peat rice hull, loam soil, and you can add vermicast if you want. They can be chubbier with this soil mix. Now let's move on with the light. This ruby glow can be better and be at its best when they are placed on a direct sunlight, preferably morning sun, but they can also tolerate some indirect sunlight. So if you're keeping them indoors, or in your room uh, be sure to place them on a bright area for example beside your window so that they can absorb the light that is available okay so as i said a while ago graviolens has these windowed leaves just like the lithops you can see this translucent part right here uh, this allows the light to pass through this a leaf structure as you can see right here so uh, let's move on with the watering um, peperomia graviolens do really well when their soil is a little bit moist so if you have plant like this don't leave them uh, dry for a long period of time because it may affect the outer appearance of your plant like they can be thinner and uh, uh, just take note that it must be moist but not too saggy because they may rot also. So I can't really tell uh, the exact amount of water that you should give or the schedule that you should uh, do for watering because your temperature is a lot different from mine, maybe. Uh, so it's safe to inspect your plant before watering them. You can do this by sticking your finger into or under that uh, soil mix. It, it will give you an answer whether it is ready for watering or not. Okay, so you can also do bottom watering. Uh, this is soaking your plant into the water using some any saucer uh, let's use this uh, example right here this is a echeveria cupid so you put them in there and you leave them for at least 30 minutes and then lift them up uh, you're doing this uh, to let your plant drink the water that it needs okay so let's move on with the temperature we mentioned a while ago that this plant is from ecuador which means uh, it prefers on the warmer side so this will not thrive if you put them on on the ground and you are experiencing some frost so it's best to plant this one on a uh, container so if it will snow uh, you can put them inside for it not to wilt 
let's talk about its propagations they are really easy to propagate uh, you can just cut the a new growth as I'm doing right here be sure though that you have uh, uh, disinfected your uh, scissor or whatever knife you're using because you don't want to transfer some uh, disease from plant to another you can cut your propagation just a little bit higher with the leaf that it is attached from the stem as I'm doing right here okay so as you cut that propagation you must air dry that one for at least one day and then plant it to a dry soil uh, take note that you should not water your propagation for at least two weeks you're doing this in order to um, give time for your succulent to give roots before you water them so that they will not rot okay so uh, due to the flowers of this uh, plant um, it's not really uh, that that strong uh, the odor is not strong but if you uh, move your nose a little closer with the uh, raisman of the flower you can smell some um, unpleasant odor from the plant you can see this one right here this is the flower as i said a while ago it's not that attractive but this plant is really prized because of its foliage um peperomia graviolens are so beautiful and easy to care for it is really ideal for beginners and it is also easy to propagate thank you so much for watching this video i hope that it is informative enough and i hope that you are doing well if you hadn't subscribed to my channel please do so and click that notification bell so that you may be uh, notified if i have new videos coming thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.